So this is the inside pressure point flow. And in the first example, um, I'm gonna have Mr. Lansing attacking me empty handed. Now the attacker is coming in with a right punch and then a left punch, even though it's kind of overkill, but we'll go through it. So as I'm here, when he attacks, I'm moving offline. So I'm moving outside of the, the punch in towards his body. So it's called the inside pressure point flow. Here, let's face this way. So that the idea is that you're not moving into the punch, but away. Now you're targeting the brachial plexus or a uh, tie-in and the median nerve. So it's a double strike or block strike at the same time. As soon as you finish that, you're containing the arm and coming upward with that bicep blast right into the brachial plexus origin stun with the backside of the forearm. As soon as that's done, he attacks with the other arm. I'm blocking, moving my head to the side, sliding down into the brachial plexus origin stun with the inside of the forearm. I'm wrapping, delivering a knee strike to the comatorium groin, and then there's a number of variations on the takedown. The first one is just the deflate. Hand comes like a C to the back of the neck, and I'm holding onto his arm, yell, down, 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 and I'm just gonna push down on his neck and back into him, and he's gonna end up in a prone position. I am in front of him here, and I have my back to whatever else could be going on, so I don't really wanna stay there. That's the prone, and then I'd be up and moving and checking what's around, but that's the basic takedown for the inside pressure point flow. The variations on that are, same pressure point flow, if you'll come a little closer. Yes, sir. So again, as he attacks, I'm moving the inside. One, two, three, block, stun, hook, knee strike. Now, on the next variation, we're gonna step through, and I'm gonna use my bicep to pop up under his chin, and as I do that, I'm gonna turn and bring him to the ground. Um, perfect. <laughs> except that we can't see you. But that's, now, once he's on the ground, I have this arm, I'm dropping my knee to the floating rib, palm strike towards the head or to the head, come across and grab on the back of the hand with your thumb and the pinky in your fingers. And then you're gonna twist and roll them over and lock them up with their arm pinned underneath them. And you've got a nice little wrist lock here. Now you can easier see what's going on, but you're still tied to one person. And again, that's not a safe place to be if you don't have backup. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. And I hope that helped you guys.